hello friends uh, I hope all you guys are doing great so in this video as uh, I've seen there's many requested coming every day about the brain tumor recognition and the detection segmentation algorithm in deep learning I have created another explanatory video for brain tumor detection in this video and the entire version of source code I made available open source and so that any guys can access the source code pre-trained weights and learn more about it so here I move forward this is, this video is dedicated for brain tumor detection and classification in Python using convolutional neural networks okay this this is the network architecture I have used for drawing my network my data set the data set containing two classes let me show you the data set first and then I move toward the algorithmic part you can uh, you can have the data set or uh, after requesting for the data set at uh, at our website and you will have it in couple of days all you need to mention the reason for accessing the data set this is the data set I'm having containing those patients images brain images which is having tumor and another type of patients brain images which are not tumorous you can see here these these brains are very much clear and the yes folder containing all those patient images yeah, the tumor is visible. My previous data set was really complex, so I made it simpler. Uh, I made this implementation on simple data set so that people will understand. This is the graph of training and validation accuracy I had achieved. So let's move toward the implementation part. The implementation is really simple. You can start with imp uh, importing TensorFlow from Keras layer I am I haven't used here the TensorFlow 2 I made this implementation on TensorFlow 1 so that people can easily understand and run the algorithm from the calc callbacks you can import TensorBoard re reduce on plateau for variable learning rate and mock model checkpoints for saving the pre-trained weights so after importing the necessary libraries move toward the crop the brain parts because uh, as you can see here uh, these images containing some background so this function will uh, remove the background with the help of thresholding erosion dilation morphological operator this part of brain tumor detection uh, algorithm containing the pre-processing of the images 2d images thereafter I crop the images and the cropped image look like this only the most of the brain part and where the tumor is contained uh, you can can be seen here after applying the crop count brain count to function you can move toward directly to the load data set where the data set is being loaded and all the images save in x and y all the images save in x and y containing the target vector as uh, as the title is suggesting this is an implementation of classification so our target will be either the brain image containing the tumor or not once the data set is being loaded few augmentation is being applied so that we can get, uh, we can and we can out we can increase the number of input images augmentation also help to reduce the overfitting of the network once augmentation after applying the augmentation the images is being split into train and test set okay x train for training x validation containing the some images which perf uh, which will be used for the valid performing the validation accuracy here the total number of training example i have used here 1445 and the test example is 330 the shape of the images is 240 by 240 and 3 stand for the rgb band okay move toward the uh, i for the performance of um, accuracy for the evaluation of accuracy uh, performance of our model we have used is f1 score accuracy loss 
an HMS string. This is the shape of the network. You can de define this network. This is really simple code. First, take the input image shape. Thereafter, first convolutional neural network, 64 filter, matrix, uh, matrix size 3 by 3. A stride one input output will be the same batch normalization which normalize input stream of uh, batch into output stream and normalize them axis 3 means I'm using tensorflow as a backend and three third axis stand for the bands activation value is to uh, apply the non-linearity in after the normalization being applied on the batches max pooling to down sample the images and push the most dominant feature containing in the images into the next layer. Second block of convolutional neural network doing the same dropout to avoid the overfitting of the network flattened so that I can do classification. Finally model is being coupled, compiled. The input of model is image and output is the binary classification model. So here this is the network architecture uh, you can see here the loss I have used is binary cross entropy, optimizer is Adam and matrix is accuracy. Once uh, all the training uh, performance will be stored uh, using uh, in the stored in log file and can be visualized using TensorBoard. The TensorBoard visualized, visualized graph you can see here at the beginning section of this notebook. And, uh, beginning section of the notebook once the model checkpoint is being saved you can uh, you can start training before I start training I have used variable learning rate if model is stop at any point converging then the ch change in learning rate help them to convert further and achieve the maximum accuracy model dot fit input variable is x train and y train batch size is 32 number of epoch I have uh, I used for training is 30 validation data is x valid in containing 310 samples of images once the training will complete you can see here further we have training accuracy 97 percent and validation accuracy 91 percent model history where the all training conversion graph can be seen how the training is converging and how the validation accuracy being performed after evaluation of model you can see here the test loss and val validation loss and you can also we, we have also computed the f1 x scores and finally our model ready for deployment this version of notebook is book is available on our website the link is given on the discussion section of the video if you have any further query or custom project you require you can contact me directly I have given my whatsapp number or from the website you can contact us okay and uh, we provide various type of services like thesis uh, for thesis guidance and help PhD scholars to achieve the uh, to implement their algorithm and uh, thanks for watching this video I hope you li like this video and uh, goodbye my friends